what's up guys and welcome back to my channel today after a few weeks break on the channel i have a powerful story i'm in kanyama to meet a young man 21 years old guys uh, zambia's ambassador to ethiopia ambassador emmanuel mwamba gave me his contact uh, so I felt it could also be one of the ways I could promote him by making his story go viral. Guys, I want you also to just get to know about him. This young man does art, which is going to blow your mind. I'll be showing you pictures, which he does, a lot of painting. I'm in his house right now in Kanyama. I'm also going to meet his dad, his mom himself and what he does guys welcome back to the channel if you are new to this channel subscribe turn on bell notification guys share this video let's keep uh -huh. you watching Maybe. Uh -huh. my name is Ebon Goma uh -huh. and I'm a visual artist uh, also a filmmaker recently graduated from the Mount Restaurant Factory um, I'm, a film, I'm a filmmaker now it's uh -huh. something I've actually diverted or other a way of me growing my art okay well, yeah um it's a way of me expanding in the art industry okay because then i paint i draw i sculpt and i i also do drawings okay drawings of pencil pen colored pencil and all okay wow so so guys this is a gentleman this is a Pretty young man, I thought I'm going to see an elderly man when uh, Ambassador Emmanuel Mwamba, Zambia's high, uh, high Commissioner or Zambia's Ambassador to, to Ethiopia, uh, gave me his contact address. So I've been seeing a lot of artwork. So Abel, I wanted us to, how did this vision, how did you start this whole dream about uh, painting? Maybe how did it all start? Okay. So, um, I think it all started from dad, first of all, because uh -huh. he used to paint a lot. Okay. From him, I actually grew my passion for art as well okay. and interest. So, in the process of me trying to learn art uh -huh. and trying to always improve, okay. I ended up doing a lot of things because then I, I went to sculpting, I went to painting with acrylics, oil paints and watercolors. Also, it helped me to, to get to know how to sculpt. Okay. Also... It's, it's just that thing whereby I wake up and I decide to say, what do I feel today? What do I want to express? Okay. What do I want people to see? Yeah. So what did you, uh, where did you, did you learn? Where did you train really? Like people go to college or university? Where did you go to, to learn all these details about painting or um, drawing? I don't know. What do you call it by the way? Is it drawing? Is it painting? It's art. Just art. <laughs> art. Just uh -huh. Where art. did you learn this art? So, uh, saying a uh, specific place uh -huh. uh, from a specific person, uh -huh. I wouldn't really say like there's a specific wow, person. Wow, it is just something which is in you. I think uh, it is in me, but then it still requires practice. Of course. So, so training. My, practice, my training and practice has been through asking people. Really? Communicating with uh, actually people who have little medals in the industry. Wow. Those are already professionals. So, I've been finding out from them, starting with that, first of all. Okay. And I went uh, to Back Visual Arts Council, became a member there. Okay. And the welcome was just overwhelming. Overwhelming. Yeah, every, everybody had so much to share. Wow. That when you ask, they would freely and gladly share with you. Ah, yeah. I'm so excited. So, how long have you been doing this work? Okay, to be specific. Like, if you are to count the years when you started. Okay, right now I'm 21. Uh -huh. But I would say for as long as I can remember. Ooh, so from childhood, <laughs> you've been trying to do all. All oh, this artwork from from childhood. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow. So I want you just to show our our viewers some of the art you have done. Okay. So like, tell us about this one. Okay. Uh -huh. This one specifically, um, it talks about poaching. Okay. How it hurts the animals. Wow. Because then you could, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful rhinoceros. Yes. But then it's in pain. Oh yeah. Because it has its own cut. Wow. And had to use the, had to paint the blood coming uh, out of the. 
Oh yeah, yeah sure. Account. And I have to put a bullet with And the a bullet I can see yeah. that's to show the, the destruction of poaching. Yes. And here the beauty I can see some beauty of is it sunset? Sunset. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. So this is the sunset in Africa of course, isn't Definitely it? Africa. Yes, because I love promoting Africa. Yeah. Maybe we can just quickly go through. Okay, here talking about I can see the hand here yeah, the hand with in, the This one specifically talks about the struggle of our mother nation Zambia. Okay. Um with the colors as well. Yes. On the flag, uh -huh. green, red, black and orange. Okay. I had to do it in a way the oh, orange yeah. representing our main laws, so it's shaped in copper. Okay. The black representing the black people, uh -huh. as a human being. Okay, I can the, see. The bloodshed falling there from the palm. Okay. Because the whole thing now it's a tree. Oh, it's yeah. It's growing. Wow. As a wow, green tree. But wow. then the stem, as you can see, uh -huh. it shows that so much struggle. Okay. As it, as it had to pull out from the ground. Okay. Like, yeah. Okay. Then this one, you can see a pregnant woman. Cutting our. Uh, Africa. Our Africa, yeah. carrying our African, whatever. Wow, I love it. Yeah. Now there's this big one. And then here I'm seeing now, this is more important. Guys, I want you to, to look at this. I'm seeing now this one is possessing, guys. This guy, the Abel has actually made a picture of the current president, President Ed Galungu, the late President Michael Sata, President Chiluba, yeah, that is late President Chiluba, our current, this is 97-year-old first Republican president, Kaunda, and late Mwanawasa, and former president, Rupia Banda. What was in your mind, Abe, when you were, you were, you were making this? Okay, so what was in my mind? Uh, it was me showing appreciation for, for my country. Yeah. As well, because I've always felt Zambia. Wow. Born in Zambia, still in Zambia. Wow. And something I said, what do I do for my country? Okay. Then I thought of all the presidents that have looted our, 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 country. our country. Oh, yeah. And, and I can see you really appreciate. I'm also happy. I'm seeing the Victoria Falls behind yeah. it. I'm also seeing the flag of Zambia. Well, that is very patriotic of you. These yeah. are so clear. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything else we can see oh, very quickly? Oh, so no, this is Dad had this corner for me, like it's it's always for me. Okay, from, this one is yours. Yeah, uh -huh. from, from 2014, the Post newspaper. The Post newspaper <laughs> made your story, and I can see President Kaunda yes. here. And you were you were so young. I was 14 then. Ah, wow. <laughs> that was you in 20, see? That was in 2014. Um, uh -huh. I was actually privileged to represent 2,000 children. Ooh. Uh, representing the whole 2,000 paintings to the president at his residence. And here I can see, is this Honorable Jean Kapata? Jean Kapata yes. Yes, with you. Mm -hmm. And here I'm seeing again President Ed Galungu. Yes, with me. Uh, that was in 2015. 2015. At Park Visual Arts Council. Okay. I did a portrait for him, which he saw that day, and he went, oh, wow. Yeah. Now, this one also, this is even more recent than, if anything. Yeah. <laughs> now, President Lungu, <laughs> guys. Uh, Abel is so, so, so big. That's why I want you guys, if you are new on this channel, subscribe, share this video, share the story of Abel, guys. Everyone need to know it. That's Abel with the, uh, the current Republican president. Again, here you are giving, tell us about, here you are handing over a portrait okay. to, to the president. So, yes, so you are just showing him what you can do. Uh, no, this was 2020. Uh -huh. uh, it was a gift. From the Macho Shine Factory, rather the film industry okay, at large. Okay, the film industry yeah, at large. We're appreciating uh, him for what he's been doing for the film industry. For the film yeah. industry, wow, awesome. I can yeah. see more pictures with the president here. I think he, this was the same day, I guess. Yes, that was. The same but then here, what happened here? Here, you were so young again. I was so young. I love the story, what happened this day. Okay. Because then he saw the portrait I did. Uh -huh. Then went, wow, who did this portrait? They oh, look gee. beautiful than the way I am in real life. Wow. Then, then they were like, no, it's A. Bongo who has actually done it. Uh -huh. That was, then he's looking at me like, no, you, you're young. You were young. You were, you were <laughs> young. He was, so yeah, was so happy. Okay. Yeah. I can also see the portrait of your dad yeah. and your mom. Since I've seen your dad and your mom, yeah. very awesome parents. I'm Thank so in, I'm so inspired. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay, and here are these yeah. your sisters or yeah, my little cousin? Okay, in Penn, okay, and uh, my younger sister. Okay, 
and then this is you. Okay. So where do you do your work? How unique I'm, is your platform? I'm, I'm usually sitting here. Always. Really? Yeah, every time I get all these from people, uh-huh. I always draw from here. Wow. Maybe I spend the, the whole night here. Okay. Sometimes power cards and power cards are just have right set up. Okay, light set up, okay, light set set up and then you you continue. But, but then again, I'm always painting from outside when it's afternoon. Okay, when it's afternoon, sometimes you can just sit down and then you keep on appreciate. What kind of tools do you use? How unique are your tools? How unique are my tools? <laughs> Not so unique, I guess. But okay. Then, uh-huh. I'm, I'm always having my, my, my friends and clients. So I have some of my pens. Oh, me. these are some of your, your yeah. pens, your crayons. Yeah, because I'm from doing the portrait right now. Okay. Which one were you doing right now? Has it already gone? Yeah. I'm okay. It, it, oh, it, then, you have even delivered it? Yeah. I wish there was something, a latest one, the one you are working on or how it it looks like. Okay, just hold on. Uh-huh. What's the name of this artist? Oh, she's Ada. Ada. Oh, she, she's from the one. Nigeria. Oh, from Nigeria. I think I know her. Yeah. Oh, so she's the one you are just from, you are, you are, you are just doing some final touch-ups, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I like it. Who well, now? Who is supposed to get that one? I'll do that with Oh, yeah. oh, so you keep it. One day you hear that she has come to perform uh, in Zambia uh, and then you just uh, hand over. Yeah. What about this lion story, maybe? Okay, I love lions too. Yeah, so that's when I actually first saw it in my dream. It happened in my dream. Okay. I saw a lion with friends and okay. I just had to paint it. Okay. This one is so nice. I can see zebra. Oh my god, this is. Wow. So, this, so tell me about these animals. I can see great yeah. animals here. For this one specifically, it was me trying to uh-huh. to tell we as human beings, uh-huh. if we choose to see ourselves beyond um, culture, beyond religion, uh-huh. beyond everything else, if mm-hmm. we had one common goal, we'd possibly work together. Okay. Even other people are lions, other people are zebras. Yes. And others are helpers. Let me just ask that one or two questions. Uh-huh. Okay. Maybe I could do I would also love to ask you uh how because I've heard this story how much you have uh, inspired him uh in his works. I want to hear it from you. How did he, how was it? How did you find it uh, as a parent to encourage him to do what he's doing today. Okay, for me, at first he used to be an artist as well. Okay, but yeah. I had to drop it uh, down. Okay. After seeing that uh, my child was doing at least uh-huh. I am, I said, no, let me just encourage this. You have person. passed on the button okay, to him. Okay, exactly, where I know that he has failed against like, all of the... Okay, he that, I think this guide is you. The best direction. Awesome. Sure, sure. How does it feel like, for example, he has met even the president. I've seen President Kaunda with him. I've seen President um, Edgar Lungu. How does it feel when he, he reaches such milestones? Otherwise, for me, I feel very proud of uh, the same boy. Okay. Knowing that uh, what, what, his target, I think, is going on the right direction. I yeah. Think I'm very happy and I'm humbled over that one. Yeah. No. And then some of us, so that's why I came to do his story. Yes. Yeah, so that we could do. I mean, we want his work to just go out. Wow. Thanks for this one. Funny story is. Um, uh huh. I was at school. Yes. Because we were lodging as we were at the Montreal Strength Factory. Okay. Studying film. So I am actually in my room. Uh huh. Then I decide to paint. Okay. Then power had to cut. Okay. So I power cut, then I'm hearing these mosquitoes in my ear. Uh huh. Like, mosquitoes everywhere. How would you be skeleton? What would the mosquitoes you get, get from me? Get from what would they <laughs> eat, feed on? Definitely. So I was like, okay, then let me try to paint that. Okay. So I started painting that in the night. Wow. When the power came. Uh-huh. It was just this way. That is what yeah. he came in. Wow, so nice. Here I can see a drum and I can see an African woman there. What is this one all about as well? I, I think with the way she was blowing on the drum. Yes. It was me to say, in spite of us moving on life moving on yes we are actually changing day by day wow let us not wow. forget our culture let us not forget our drums let us wow. clean them and keep keep the tradition living. okay we this is to keep on our tradition hmm. now this one is in 3d so tell me about this one now okay so for this one specifically 
Uh huh. Um, I've I've always refused to be to be described as an artist who can paint or just sculpt or yes. to do one specific thing. Mm-hmm. So and then I knew that I'm actually capable of painting and sculpting. Okay. So I said I have to do a work that just shows that. Okay. So instead of it being a 3D painting, uh-huh. I decided to sculpt on a canvas Ooh. and paint there. Okay. So then, if you can see there, Show me the story now. Yeah. Describe it so that he, I want all our viewers to know so, what is happening here. Yeah. Uh-huh. So this is a little boy uh-huh. coming out from a room. Yes. Which is full of art as well. Okay. But rather dark. Uh huh. So popping out to check what's going on on the outside. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So he opens the door. Uh huh. He sees some light, like because there's some shadows. Okay. The then he's like. What's going on outside? Oh yeah, yeah. awesome! You know, I, guess, I can yeah. see. I would, I would have never guessed if you, 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 you didn't show me this because I can see clear. This is his hand. Yeah. Uh huh. And this is his kid. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Wow, so I was like, yes. Oh, I have a means breath. Then. So, something I'm taking up. I'm yes, breath. yes. As a breath father, there is breath arts. I love we it. Where people, children get to have that free mind to explore. Wow. To actually know, find their talents, work on them, mm. grow as they grow as well. Okay. Yeah. I also didn't ask you, I asked the daddy about it. Mm-hmm. But daddy about it, um, uh, how does it feel? Does it inspire you that you once met the president? For example, two of the presidents? Yeah. I think in my life I've only met one of the two of these presidents also. Yeah. But how does it feel you? You, were, you even hugged the president. Not once. I've seen more than once. You have met many cabinet ministers. How does the, that make you feel? It's a great feeling. It's a great, Honestly, it's a great honor. It's, yeah. it's something that has helped me glow as well. Okay. Because... It's not something that just happens like that. Yes. I always say good above all. Because some things that we can do, mm-hmm. God actually makes them work for us. Okay. And then these these things, they are very common in Europe. And maybe a lot of white people. Mm-hmm. So, as an African, I'm not going, I love talking about Africa. Yeah. As African, do you think we have a future in Africa? Me, I've seen it, so I want to hear it from you because you are an African young man. Okay, as an African young artist man, uh-huh. yeah. Um, can we do it as Africa? Definitely, we can do it, and we are doing it. Oh. We are taking our art to the next level. Wow. We all start. We all start from somewhere, uh-huh. going somewhere, yeah. and that somewhere for us as Africa uh-huh. is that high place. So okay. definitely, we are making it. Now, one word behind, um, I mean, in, in, in front of the camera before we end this video, I just want you to say one word to Ambassador Emmanuel Mwamba. I don't know if you, if you have you ever met Ambassador Emmanuel Mwamba? I have never met him. You've I'm never saying. met him. I'll so be- I want you now on this, on this video, I want you to appreciate him because he's going to watch this video as well in Ethiopia. <laughs> Ambassador Emmanuel Mwamba is the one who gave me your contact. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So that I advertise you to the world because my channel is watched in America, Canada, India, yeah. the whole of Africa are watching on my channel. So that's why I want you to just say any word for Ambassador Emmanuel Mwamba for giving me your contact. Ambassador Emmanuel Mwamba, I'm truly, truly grateful. Thank you so much. I was actually messaged by Ambassador Emmanuel Mwamba in the- Oh hi! He said, "Introduce yourself." Uh, uh, so I introduced myself. And then uh, the next thing, I'm getting calls from everywhere. You see? Then, I'm like, what's going on? Uh-huh. So that's when I actually got um, the interest to now find out who he was. Okay. And I found him on media. He actually posted <laughs> me on, on Facebook. Oh, on Facebook. And now people were just calling me from all over. Wow. Everywhere. Okay. I'm so I'm truly truly grateful. Thank okay. you so much. Okay. Well, guys, I'm sure you have heard this story. This is Abel the guy i'm sure you have heard his story i want you to share his story on any platform so if you are new to this channel i want you to subscribe you tell our, bell, you tell our subscriber to say subscribe to this channel <laughs> this is the moment now you have to subscribe to this channel <laughs> so please subscribe this channel and please, please share his story guys i will leave his link in the description of this video i will leave his phone number if you need to talk to him you can send him a whatsapp you can send him a text message and support or email i'll get his email details i'll also link them in the description as you watch the video down below you can get in touch with him he's just from showing me a nigerian artist a nigerian a gospel musician yeah so he has done a very classic piece so anywhere you are you do his details he, you can communicate with him you do the rest thank you so much for watching guys we'll see you in the next video thank you for watching bye see you. <laughs>